He's a political science professor at Louisiana State University in Shreveport, Dr. Jeff Sato. Hey, Dr. Jeff, how are you this morning? All right, how about yourself? Well, you know, Aaron's talking. The only reason she says, the only reason I watch the debates is for those crash and burn, those gotcha, those NASCAR mm-hmm. yellow flag moments. Yep, got the popcorn and the beer out. And then when they happen, she bemoans the state of America. Oh, is this, this is horrible. Is this the best people we have to offer? Do you find that most people see this? in those contradictory points of view? Well, if you look at the at polling information, you, you've got two candidates, which apparently are the most disliked pair ever to run. So, uh, yeah, I think there's some truth to that, that people are, uh, again, a majority seem not at all pleased that this is their choice. And so, yeah, why not? Uh, why, why wouldn't they expect something like um, all these kinds of... Uh, interesting moments that, that come up during these in instead of starting with the candidates this morning let's start with the moderators mm. because it seemed a couple of times last night that donald trump wasn't debating hillary he was actually debating i know a, a couple of times with martha raddatz who was one of 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 the, the moderators yeah um sure i mean one of the the themes that Trump, the Trump campaign is trying to get out there is that uh, the media, the world, you know, whoever are all against uh, Trump. Uh, and, uh, you know, they gave him some ammunition, especially when apparently on, on one exchange, Trump was out there trying to make a point. Uh, and then uh, Raddatz, she was actually trying to debate him. I mean, you know, thought that was Hillary's job, not, not hers. So, so yeah, to the, I, I think to the casual viewer there, I mean, certainly that seemed to verify his comment that he made, I think, a little before that about it being one on three. His vulgar comments that were released, he came out at the front of the debate and again apologized. Is Did he make any points with that or is he really harmed by what's going on? Uh, certainly, I think he lost some points, so to speak, uh, in that uh, uh, over this these events. Um, last night, in his comments and and other ways in which he directed the the issue, I think he stopped uh, whatever damage is being done. But I think there was some damage uh, done there. Uh, you know, I don't know that you know anything else is going to come from all this now. But certainly, it didn't help the campaign. Do you anticipate there will be more to follow? I mean, there are folks saying that there's there are more Trump videos, audios out there. Well, may, maybe there are, but. You know, I, I don't know that there's anything else that could be added to this or could um, could make it more severe, let's say, than, than it is is now. Uh, you know, that's uh, that's just the, again the way he's he's been over his, his entire media career, so to speak, kind of off the cuff and unrehearsed, and and those things like that might happen. But you know, I'm, you know, unless he starts talking about live boys or dead girls or something like that, then you know, I don't think. Uh, there's really anything else that can be done. Then he could only then he could only get elected in Louisiana. Um, yeah, in 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 terms of style, <clears throat> pardon me. In terms of style, last night compared to the first debate, Old Donald did a lot better, don't you think? Yeah, I, I think so. He he tended to avoid uh, wandering off in certain directions. Uh, he still had a tendency to throw out things that he should have explained a little bit more for the casual viewer. Uh, it's stuff that people that are interested in politics on a regular basis, they would understand it, but uh, uh, probably a, a good portion of the audience was much more casual in their interest. So, you know, he could have done better in that respect, but he did tend to do a better job of getting to his points of being able to uh, turn on Clinton when she was going in a certain direction and turn it favorably in his direction. So I think it was a better performance. His winning moment from last night, if you can pick one out. Uh, I guess it's the you'd be in jail comment. Uh, you know, I've got, a, got the uh, illicit audience reaction uh, from that uh, and certainly did uh, turn it around. Um, you know, it, it kind of connected to that was the honest Abe uh point being made. I mean, neither of these people are Lincoln or Douglas, but, but uh, you know, with Clinton, she's particularly not Lincoln, and uh, on, the, the, on the issue of honesty, Trump certainly drove that home. Did she have a winning moment? Um, I don't think there was anything that really stood out there. Um, she was, you know, fairly, uh, as opposed to Trump, who's kind of all over the place, uh, says some dumb things, says some great things. 
in terms of winning points and debates. She doesn't go to those extremes. Uh, some of the things she says you know, may be turned against her as Trump did more successfully last night. Was it was it the Clinton goal last night to just circle the wagons? And do you think that'll be the case for the? Uh, in other words, is she to to liken it to the 2012 election? Uh, is she going Romney? Does she figure I got this? I I just can't make big mistakes. Yeah, I think so. Any any person who perceives themselves as a front runner, that's going to be the, the strategy. Uh, you hold on to your gains and you don't do anything that's uh, r- risky that might, of course, improve your position, but also might deteriorate it to some extent. So, yeah, you just want to play it safe. Let me ask you this, Dr. Jeff. Um, there are I have a lot of my friends. We have a gentleman in our room with me today that are now deciding they're going to stay home you as a political science professor you want folks to take part in the political process you want people to go vote what's your message to those who say i just can't push the button for either one of these dolts well two things one of course is that there are other alternatives they um they may not seem likely to win um given our system of government they might though influence how the electoral votes of certain states are cast for certain candidates, so you know there's an, uh, an impact of the election that way by participating. And the other is, of course, that there's there is a difference between the two candidates. Uh, you know, they they have very different issue preferences, and so somebody uh, in you know in making a choice that way, they are they're seeding whatever preferences they might have in terms of issues. And you know, I, I would say you may want to rethink that. Dr. Jeffrey Sato, you looking forward to the third and final debate, expecting any more surprises? Well, you know, like you say, who knows what's going to come out about uh, who all's out there. I mean, even Trump sprung a surprise with the uh, the Clinton women, so to speak, out there. Uh, so, yeah, um, who knows what's going to happen. Today's the last day to register to vote. So, uh, again, you encourage folks to get out there, register, take part in the process, right? Oh, absolutely. And, of course, you know, this isn't the only race on the ballot. There are lots of other things going on around here. Senate race, race of the House, uh, appellate court, second district, uh, state of Louisiana. So, yeah, and there's, you know, a lot, a lot of things to be interested in this election. Season. You know, Jeff, one more quick question um, now that you brought that up. The way that the presidential race will or will not affect congressional and Senate races across the country. Do you do you expect to see do you expect to see a lot of split tickets because you know the 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 wise guys, the pundits, the smartest guys in the room are all saying Trump's going to drag down, he's going to cost the Republicans the Senate. He could cost them the Congress. What's your thinking about that? Those are I think pretty overblown statements. One of the things that we've noticed among voters and the research into voting behavior over the last couple of decades is this increasing decoupling uh, of the presidency with these other particular races. Uh, Party identification tends to be much stronger in in the voting decision when we look at these lower-level offices. And so, yeah, there may be more splitting that way, but it's not really going to detract from people who are Republicans or the Republican sympathies. They're still overwhelmingly likely to vote for down-ballot candidates for the Republican. Was it like on that 92, 94 percent of incumbents uh, incumbents win congressional and Senate races? Yeah, uh, so, and that, that pattern is, is unlikely to be altered in any significant way by this particular election.